Urban Outfitters, you just fucked yourself. Well done. Not that your high-priced clothing was worth buying to begin with, because I've actually never worn anything by your company. However, I just want to say a royal fuck you, simply because two years ago, you got hammered. Your company got hammered for releasing this. And it got a lot of criti criticism, and rightly so. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure out why this would get criticism. Um, and then, after that, you took that off the shelves because of the la backlash, you, th you think, well, let's redo the exact same thing two years later, and again, they released this, but also this. So they doubled themselves. It was first eating disorders, and now it's this, depression. And I'm pretty pissed off at you, Urban Outfitters, simply because of what you have stigmatized, and now you are exploiting something that is a mental illness. Um, you're using, actually, my mental illness and other people's mental illnesses that we have. I have chronic depression. I gotta take medication for it. But you're using that, and you're saying... <clears throat> Oh, dude! Holy fuck! I love your depression shirt! You know, how about we go smoke some pot back there, and, you know, we can be, like, depressed together, and, you know, depression is the new fucking fad. That's just the new fashion style, is that we're all just gonna be depressed. To being depressed is freaking awesome, dude! Come on, let's hang out, let's hang out! We're depressed! Do you, do you see my point? Um, you're saying that a mental illness is is a fashion statement, and that is insulting to me, and I know a lot of other people's. You're saying that our struggles is a fashion statement. Do you think people who have chronic depression like myself choose to wake up feeling miserable, choose to feel worth, choose to have like no worth, choose and feel so miserable that they can't get out of bed, choose and, and, and want to think negative thoughts, or do you think I want to wake up some days and I feel like the best thing option would be to put a gun to my head and blow my brains out? Yeah, when I'm not on medication or I'm not taking stuff, my mind thinks that way. I, it, it's something that I can't help. It's a chemical imbalance. And the fact that you're using depression as a fashion statement is not only disregarding people who actually have depression and are struggling, it's insulting them. You're exploiting people who are struggling, and that is disgusting to me. Secondly, what's with eat less? Eat less? Didn't you already learn two years ago that you got a backlash and now it's republished and now you have it out there again and within 24 hours you took it down and here are your stupid little tweets that you tweeted? I mean, come on. Think. Think before you tweet. Think before you post on your website. I don't even know what else more to say. Yes? Come in. Hi. Hi. Um, want to be in a video spontaneously? Sure. <laughs> Come sit over here. Hello, people. This is my mom. Um, this is on the spot kind of a thing. So Urban Outfitters made a statement, mm -hmm. and their statement was um, on their they're selling a product clothing of that says, "Eat less." What do you think of that? Well, my first thought as a female, it's very negative in the sense that. Um, you should be eating less, which if you're n eating less, that would be uh, somehow good. But um, being a vic victim of anorexia nervosa back in the 1970s when Twiggy was in and being a skeleton and being unhealthy, and it gave a lot of, uh, at least in my generation, gave a lot of uh, negative connotation that as Americans we're just, we eat too much. And yet people like myself who never had been overweight, that connotation of eat less, that would encourage me to think there's something wrong with me because I already ate way, way less than I should as a, a person. So something like that, it would make me feel like, um, see, you shouldn't even be, you shouldn't even be feeding yourself. I mean, it, to me, and it, indirectly, it's a very negative uh, statement. That To me, that is 
that doesn't do any any positive uh, reinforcement for people and feeling good about how they look by saying eating less. Do you think it's making a fashion statement about eating disorders? Well, in a way, you know, because I know even in act actresses have to starve themselves to a place of almost being uh, malnourished and uh, I just don't think that's healthy. I don't think that gives a person the, the freedom to be who they ha are meant to be. And it's like, uh, it's, it may be a fashion statement, but it isn't something that's positive. It's actually self-harming emotionally for people that maybe already have low self-esteem or have anorexia nervosa or possibly bulimia. To tell someone to eat less when they're already having struggles, I think is a very Unwise, well, the crazy thing is, I think when it, when it says eat less, um, usually the people, a lot of women that I see nowadays are super, 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 super thin. And I'm not saying that's wrong, but the fact that they're already thin and they think that they're fat and they're having uh, now Urban Outfitters is saying eat less, I, I just can't believe this company would do that. But they did this two years ago. They did this exact, they did this, they did this exactly two years ago and now it's they reopened it up again and it's off the shelves. I just... Well, um, I think, you know, I, they could be thinking, you know, most Americans overeat anyway, but um, I don't think they're in touch with reality of, of, of people today, particularly people today have more low self-esteem. There's more pressure, more bullying than there ever was before. And we're supposed to be a, a society that's become better in treating our fellow man. And, and yet, in a sense, we've actually become worse. That's just my opinion. I think my mom speaks a lot of truth here. What she said is true. And I, I, I'm sorry if you are a young woman and you live in our generation right now that you have to deal with this sort of shit because it's not right. It's not right at all. The fact that you have to be told to eat less um, is just sort of disgusting to me. And for those of you who don't know, men and women both struggle with eating disorders. It's... It, an eating disorder, you think people t try to purposely throw up. Telling a young girl or teen with an eating disorder is like telling a depressed person, just wake up and stop being depressed. It's such a, a deeper, more complex issue than that. And people who say those statements don't know what depression is and don't know what mental illness is and don't know what eating disorders are and the type of condition and how it affects people. I'm just amazed at the ignorance that we in our generation right now, the younger teen girls and men, men are growing up in this generation where they're told to eat less. Now they're being told that depression's a fashion statement. Down below in the description, I have a link. If you click that link, it will take you to your Twitter in which it will tweet Urban Outfitters this video and tweet out to Urban Outfitters that they are completely wrong for re-bringing out this type of clothing because it's wrong. There's no, there's no way you can justify a shirt that says eat less and a shirt that says depression is a fashion statement. So a nice royal fuck you to Urban Outfitters. And if you're thinking that I'm overreacting by my response to this, fuck you too, because I'm not overreacting. This is a real issue. And when you take actual, and when you exploit real struggles people's ha people have and want to cash cow it into some false idea of what it is not, I get pissed and I make a video like this. Thank you for watching.